Maya Bhatnagar. I believe marriages are made in heaven and arranged on earth by wedding planners like myself. I'd get hitched. I create magic. I believe life is a celebration. Life is one big party because life is beautiful. Arya, Kabir, you ready? Hurry up! Hi, good morning, Jane. Um, just make sure the kids go to school on time. I'll be late at work again, yeah? Uh, so put them to bed if I'm late. Thank you. I'll have my tea outside. Hello? Hi. Hi. Everything set for Sean's wedding? Yes, everything set except the flower guys playing up a bit. Go to option B then. Okay, and you have that interview. Yes, I know I have my radio interview. I'm on my way. Alright, great. And also I've sent my answers for the magazine as well. Okay, cool. We'll see you soon. Yeah, bye. Welcome to 90.2 FM where the conversations are fresh. Today we have with us Ms. Maya Bhatnagar, founder and CEO of Get Hitched. Welcome to our live chat session of successful entrepreneurs. Please tell us about yourself. Hi, thanks for having me at your platform. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes, loud and clear. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for 15 years now and Get Hitched started off as a passion and it's become my livelihood now. I have successfully organized 100 weddings over the last so many years. Wow, 100! So, what keeps you motivated? What's the reason behind your success? Um, I love being around people, you know. I um, think pretty much self-motivated. Uh, to add to that, I have a brilliant team who's been with me for uh, many, many years now. And I guess uh, hard work keeps me going. So then, how do you manage time for work and home? Do you ask this question to your male entrepreneurs as well? Oh, um, sorry, no, but our listeners would like to know. Uh, sorry, uh, I actually am a single parent. I have a lot on my plate. Um, you know, my twins who are also entering their teens now are a handful and my husband gets to meet them only on Saturdays. Rest of the week, they are my pride and joy. Here, responsibility. <laughs> um, well, I feel if you're organized, anything's possible, be it a man or a woman. You know, if you have those organization skills and you compartmentalize your work and your uh, home life, anything and everything is achievable and possible. Hmm. So, what do you do for fun and leisure? What do you do for yourself? Uh, myself? There's no time. I, I never have time. I... Um, Ms. Bhatnag, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Maya Bhatnagar. I'm sure our listeners will find your story motivating. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Beta, hope you're fine. Still working? You must take out some time for yourself too. 
How and where, Papa? There's always so much to do. Sometimes I feel only death will give me that respite. Nonsense. Don't talk like that. Hey, chill. I was just kidding. Uh, hope you're doing fine. You've taken your medicines. Did you do your sugar and BP check? Yeah, yeah. You have enough worries of your own. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Maya, did I tell you that Uncle Bhalla has stopped coming over? My whole routine of going for golf has just gone for a toss because of him. Why? What happened to him? Well, he says, I don't feel like doing anything. Doesn't get up from his bed, keeps sleeping and has lost interest in everything. Bloody bugger. Behaving like a teenager in this age, I tell you. Dad, don't be me. That doesn't sound like him. He's such a happy-go-lucky, easy person. Is he unwell? Well... Well, he says depression. What is this depression? Eat, sleep, have fun with friends, stay happy and positive. Pension is coming in the bank. Kids are settled. Wife has also got tired of fighting with you, I tell you. What is there to be depressed about? I've stopped calling him. Dad, would you tell someone with fever to be positive and heal himself or send him to a doctor? Well, of course he'll go to a doctor if he has fever. Exactly. Depression is a mental health issue. Please be there for him. Keep calling him. Don't give up on him. Oh, relax. I know how it feels when people give up on you. It's such a lonely, sad, dark place. Maya, what are you talking about? Uh, sorry I spoiled your mood. You tell me, how was the radio interview? And once again, congratulations on your Entrepreneur of the Year award. <laughs> I've been bragging to all my friends here. Yeah, that went uh, well, I guess. Dad, I still have a couple of mails to send before I go home. So I'll call you later. Uh, okay. Well, you take care of yourself, beta. You're doing too much for everyone but yourself. Give my hugs to Aryav and Kabir. Yeah, will do. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Bye. Love you. Today's day was also as manic as any other day, I guess. Radio interview. Check. Sent my answers for the award interview. Check. Spoke to dad. Check. Paid school fee. Check. Sean's wedding. Done. Didn't cry in the bathroom. Check. Dear Diary, in everyone's eyes I cope very well, doing things with ease and managing both home and work front effortlessly. Dad has a happy-go-lucky attitude, so he won't understand. Today the radio jockey asked me, what do I do for myself? What do I do? I have no friends, as there's no me time. My kids give me joy. But sometimes, that's a struggle too. I have to keep up the pace. I have to carry on being on top of my game. Why though? I often wonder. It'll be so much easier if I didn't have to wake up only. Didn't have to breathe. Didn't have to live. But then what will happen to my kids? To my dad? Who will take care of Get Hitched? My first baby. Let's see how long do I have the stamina to fake the smile, the charisma, the laughter, the lifestyle. The day I can't, I'll not overthink. I'll just let go. No one is indispensable. 
Arya and Kabir will be better off with their dad without their nagging mom on their head. My dad? Well, it'll be tough for him. But this way my brother might step up and be the son he should have always been. But today, someone asked me, for the first time, what do I do for myself? What can I do for myself? Hello? Yes. Tree of Life? This is Tree of Life. Sorry to call you this late. I think I need help. Hi, I'm Maya Bhatnagar. Life has its moments of strength and weaknesses. And sometimes, strength lies in asking for help. For when you face your problems, life is beautiful. Beautiful.